Like a campaign flashback. Hello, Georgia. Hello, Georgia. President Trump promoting tonight's Georgia visit on Twitter. Just after his campaign filed a new challenge to Georgia's presidential results that turned the state blue for Biden. In a virtual campaign event Friday, Barack Obama urged Democrats to help a Biden presidency succeed by giving him a Democratic-led Senate. You need to understand this is not just about uh, Georgia. This is about America and this is about the world. Uh, And it's in your power to, in fact, uh, have an impact. Democrats need to win both seats in the January runoff to take control of the Senate. Polling shows Republican incumbent Senators David Perdue and Kelly Leffler in tight races against Democratic challengers John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. Are you with me? Campaigning in Savannah Friday, Mike Pence focused on the future. The road to the Senate Republican majority runs right through the state of Georgia. Republicans worry the president's relentless attacks, undercutting voting integrity and his own defeat, will sour turnout for the Senate races. Senator David Perdue, who has not publicly acknowledged Biden's win, appeared to do so in a video meeting with the Republican Jewish coalition obtained by the Washington Post. If we can keep the majority in the Senate, we can at least be a buffer on some of the things that the, the, uh, the Biden Uh, camp has been talking about in terms of their foreign policy. RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel tried to thread the needle between the president's unproven claims and turning out the vote. And we're not giving up, but the best way to fix it is to send two senators to Washington who are going to fight for election integrity so this never happens again. And runoff races are the most difficult to predict as far as which voters will turn out. And today, Melania Trump, the first lady, will be joining the president. That's something we haven't seen on the campaign trail very often. And it's just one more sign of how important this runoff is to Republicans and arguably on the other side to Democrats as well.